Our next caller is John from Arizona. Hey, what's up, John? How can we help you? Hey, guys. Thanks for taking my question. Um, I was listening a couple weeks ago, and you had talked to somebody about um, splitting your workout sessions in half. And my question was, should I take my exercises and do like the first five exercises in the morning and the second five in the afternoon? Or should I take all the exercises and kind of split the sets in half and do all the exercises in the morning, half the sets, and then this, the second half of the sets in the afternoon? Yeah, this is a really, really good question. And fun one. Let's and a fun it. one. So yeah. the, the, the old school way of doing it, it's called a double split routine is the old bodybuilder style. And this was a routine that got popular in the 70s. You see guys like Arnold and Franco and you know all those bodybuilders back then. What, what they would do is they would do the first option that you said, right? They'd come in the morning and they'd do chest and back. And then later on, they'd come in the afternoon and do you know shoulders and biceps or something like that, right? Um, now, when we look at, Olympic lifters uh, or other l types of lifters, it's a little bit different. They tend to do the second option where they're practicing, rather than doing 10 sets of squats all at once, they'll do five in the morning and five in the evening. Now, I've personally experimented with both, and I do have a preference. The preference I have is for the second option. I've gotten stronger oh, and better I didn't know you're gonna go that by way. splitting the workout. Absolutely. So rather than doing you know four sets of, uh, you know, let's say I have to do four sets for chest, four sets for back, four sets for shoulders. Do two. I'll do two of each in the morning uh, and then in the afternoon. And the reason why I changed my opinion, because I would have said the first option uh, before, is because I, I, I started experimenting with these all-day workouts where I would do, you know, three sets of the same exercises every other hour all day long. And I noticed some very interesting things. Like, I actually got stronger as the day progressed. And I was able to do this tremendous amount of volume. And I noticed I got like built muscle very quickly from doing it. And I think most people benefit from that practicing the movement kind of more frequently than they would from just hammering a muscle uh, with more volume all at once. So I'm going to lean more towards the splitting up the sets uh, for this particular question. I did not think you were going to go that yeah. way. I did not think you were going to go that way at all. You know, I, so and I, I don't disagree with you. My answer would have been like, there, there's no wrong answer here. And uh, I would encourage you actually to try both. I mean, just because the the only drawback I, I I would think of for the way you're explaining right now, Sal, is somebody getting into the groove, right? right. So if you right. like, let's say squats, right? So let's you have say you have four sets yeah. of squats, and you're only going to do set two sets of squats in the morning. I mean, sometimes I feel like it takes me till my second or third that, squat. That's immediately what I would have thought was like, yeah. Sometimes you might need that third set to really like get into you know the the, the feel of it and really you know get into that sweet spot. But yeah, I'd, I I I've noticed the same thing though. Splitting it up, uh, you know, and, and working on the second to uh, latter half of the day, it's like it's just nice because now we're just reiterating on that signal you were sending earlier, and uh, you know your body just feels the difference of that. I mean, I guess this is why I knew it was gonna be a fun question because I don't think there's a wrong answer here, right? Right. So yeah. it's it's really up to up to the the user. It is, and you know what's funny? It's like I've done the double split stuff before, and I didn't notice a huge benefit aside from the fact that you know maybe if the workout was too long all at once, that I have a little bit more stamina if I rest for a few hours and then come back. It wasn't a huge benefit, but when I did the set split and I would do the same exercise again later in the day. I noticed a much bigger benefit. It was like uh, it wasn't just cutting the workout. In oh, half. see, I feel I disagree. So I feel like when when I was able to. So what happens to me when we do like a full body routine, mm -hmm. right? Is you know legs and back and chest they really they really tax you. They're mm -hmm. big muscles, and so I did feel like if you know whatever comes after legs or back just doesn't quite get the same intensity towards that where if I got this break it up where the morning time yeah. I might do you know legs or back and then I go chest and shoulders and other you know later on I felt like I could give more towards my chest and shoulders because I got that rest so you know again mm -hmm. I again I don't think uh, there's a wrong answer here John I do think that this is going to be a personal preference thing uh, it would be very interesting and I'd like to hear you play with both and hear what you say yeah. mm -hmm. now you know what my you know I, I, a little bit more information I'd like here how many hours in between the two workouts are we talking um right now i'm getting up and working out about five o'clock um i've been doing the rgb bundle for the last year um and um it'd probably be around the same time in the morning and then it would probably be 
the earliest would probably be three in the afternoon. So what's that? About 10 hours between the two workouts. Okay. Right. So that's, 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 oh, that's good. That's a pretty big gap. And the reason why I asked is, you know, Adam made the comment that it takes him a few sets to get into a squat. Well, I actually find with studies that if you prime your body, that, that effect lasts for a few hours, but you're well beyond that. So you might actually find that. You might actually find that if you did half your squats in the morning, half your squats in the afternoon, you'd still need to prime and stuff just like you did in the morning. So that's actually something to consider. But I, I, I swear to God, it is very strange when I do the same volume but increase the frequency. Uh, in other words, rather than doing four sets of bench press in the morning, if I did one set of bench press four times throughout the day, for example, I just get this like – this. it feels very anabolic. It, mm-hmm. This is where trigger session concept kind of even came from. So – I would, you know, experiment with both and see how you feel. I, f- I think you'll know pretty quickly. Like you'll do one workout one way, do the next one the other one, the the other way, and I think you'll figure it out pretty quickly which one your body likes better. John, do you ha- do you own uh, Maps Prime by chance? Um, I believe I have Prime Pro. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna have Doug send you Maps Prime because if you do it Sal's way, my recommendation then would be to make sure that you prime before you sure. least lift because then at okay. least at least that will combat my challenge with mm-hmm. it, right? So my my challenge with it is the whole getting in the groove, taking me a couple sets just to get in the groove and exercise. If you do your due diligence and do a really good job of priming your body before you go into each, both your morning and evening workout, then Sal's way may be more favorable. But I definitely would recommend utilizing Prime for that. That's really what it's designed to do. So we'll shoot Prime over to you. When you do Sal's awesome way, uh, when you do it Sal's way, well, you should do it no matter what, both ways, I should say. <laughs> but I mean, it, you, that's definitely, I would put more emphasis on that. All right. Thank you, guys. I appreciate that. No problem, John. Right. Thanks for calling. Yeah, it's really weird. Um you know, when I did those workouts, it was it was such a freaking trip. Yeah, well, but you also had shorter breaks, though. Yeah, I did, but I've also done it where I have long breaks, and I've actually experimented exactly with what he said. It is so freaking weird, and, mm-hmm. and the reason why I said you'll feel it right away is because I did. Right away, I did it, and I was like, this feels very different in yeah, my body. Yeah, one thing that I did notice, too, it is like maybe four or five hours of difference between the two sessions uh, was, I, it was just wasn't as taxing. Like, I, I yes. felt, you know, you know like, I, I was less likely to, to have that feeling of overtraining yeah, where you with would with, like, the four sets in a row where I'm like, oh, you know, like, sometimes I'll push it a little too far if I'm not checking myself versus splitting like that. It just felt like both sessions were like, you now, know, charged. Now, Sal, when you did that, are you giving yourself a, you know, like let's say you go into a, sh- a shoulder press in the, the, the morning and the evening time. Are you giving yourself like a just moving the bar set that doesn't, it's a non-working set? Or are you going right into a working no, set? No, 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 no. I would do, I would still do like a five to 10 minute warm up and then I'd go into the workout, both workouts, if the gap was big. Now, yeah. when I did the all day workouts, this is the weird, this was, this was really weird. It was every other hour. I would only have to prime for the first workout. Well, yeah, that makes mm-hmm. sense, yeah. right? Because you're, like you said, you're already pretty warmed up. You're in good posture. You're connected there. It's mm-hmm. not a big gap, so that makes sense that you wouldn't have to prime before. But if you got a nice, you know, ten hour gap between the workouts, I would imagine it's almost like restarting over yeah. again, and you got to kind of prime the body, warm up set, and then go into. Yeah, I would set. love to experiment. Just and this is just, I don't think this is practical for most people, but you know, obviously we we this is what we do for a living, and so we could make this happen. I would love to do like instead of doing a full body workout in the morning, three sets each exercise do one set each exercise three times that day. So one workout in the morning, one workout in the afternoon, one workout in the evening, and just note, just see, is there a difference? It's the same total volume, same yeah. work. Is there a difference in how my body responds? Well, hit, hit the, way, the second way is what reflects kind of how I train now with us having a gym here and now that I have this set up in my house. Yeah. I, you know, you guys will see me. Sometimes I just do a few things here. Well, that's not my complete workout. I go home and I do a few uh, more I do things. The same thing. 